In this video, you will learn how to set up and run your Fluenix bombots. In case you don't know me, my name is Tom, aka High Frequency Market Killer 100 pips a day. In this channel, I prove to you that you can make money in the financial market automatically, no matter who you are. If that is your cup of tea, please subscribe to this channel, click on the like button and comment down below, I am in. Without further delay, let's dive in. But before I continue, please pause this video and get to work. So after downloading your Flowing the Pump Bot, you have to unzip it. And in my case, I have it here. If I click on the folder, you are going to see HFT Bot Utils as well as Bot this settings excel sheet is where you are going to impute your parameters for the bot and the bot is the main file in which you are going to run the hft pump utils is where the bot is saving some utilities data so when you open the settings you are going to see this interface the trade amount in usdt is a trade volume in which you want to allocate for each of the trade that is going to be executed by this your pump bot and the take profit type is a variable in which you can set which type of take profits do you want to use. Do you want it to use manual take profits or automatic take profits? If it is automatic take profit, it means your bot is going to set take profit automatically. If it is manual take profits, it means your bot is going to use the percentage you specified here as the take profit. But at some given point, your bot might not be able to place a take profit at the automatic take profit price based on the market momentum or whatsoever. In that case, it is going to automatically choose the percentage that you give here. That is if automatic was selected and the bot is unable to execute at the automatic price. So the second is the stop loss type, the same thing as the take profit type. And the stop loss in percent is also the same thing. So the bot utils is the utilities parameter for these bots. You are not allowed to modify any of these parameters from this B window to oversold. You are not allowed to modify it unless I give you instruction to do so. The reset time is the time in which the bot will refresh and check if there is new listed coin in your exchange. So the reset time is always at the open of the candle and the daily candle opens at 24.00 UK time. So it is better to input 23 and the bot is going to handle the minutes for you automatically. So when it gets to that point in which a daily candle is about to open, the bot will refresh and check if there's any new listed cryptocurrency in the exchange. If you are running your bot in a VPA that has the same time zone with UK time, then you can leave it to 23. But if at any given point your VPS you want to install or your local computer has a different time zone, then you have to specify the time that is similar to 23 hours of UK time. In my time zone, I will have to put zero because in my time zone, the daily candle of a chart open at 1 a.m. So I will have to put zero and the bot will undo the minute for me. So that's exactly what this does. So the Xable coins is the list of cryptocurrencies in which you don't want your bots to execute trade on. For example, I would love to put BUSD, for example, and then any other cryptocurrency in which I don't want it to trade. So this is the trading mode. If you cannot find this in your bot, it means your bot does not have position trading mode. So this trading mode is where you can select between DAC pawn bot or position trading mode. If you want to install your bot to run between the two, then you will have to duplicate the folder of this bot and then run one as DAC pawn mode and then run the second one as position trade. That is it. If you are running in DAC pawn mode and you don't have the intention to run position trading mode, then it is not advisable to change from DAC pawn mode to position trading mode and then start your bot and then change it back because that will make the previous calculated algorithms for DAC pump modes to reset and in that case you will start afresh which will delay the execution time of your bot. The access key is where you are going to set your license key. At the time of watching this video if this bot is still free then you will have to get this bot and then ask me for license key. 
my whatsapp number is going to be somewhere on your screen or and in the description of this video so you can click it on whatsapp me ask me for a license key and i will give it to you maybe at the time of watching this vi video the free gifts away have expired then you will have to subscribe and once you subscribe your license key will be sent to you and this is where you are going to include your telegram bot api key later on this video i will explain to you how to get this how to get your api key then your telegram admins id is what you will impute here so the format that you are going to impute your telegram admins is this you have to open bracket and then type the admin id and then comma and then the second admin id and then t you type all the admin id then at the end you close the brackets if at any given point you want to add only one admin to your board which is yourself you have to type open bracket and then type your telegram id and then close brackets on your portfolio manager telegram bots someone who is not admin to that your bot cannot just go there and then try to view your balance or try to sell one of your portfolios if you want to add more admin, then you will have to specify the ID of that Telegram here. I'm going to show you how to get your Telegram ID later on. So the exchange keys is where you will put input the exchange name. For now, only KuCoin is available. In future updates, I am going to add more exchanges. Then your exchange API key is where you will input here and your exchange API secret as well as exchange passphrase and your trading password. If you don't know how to get your exchange API key and all those data, there's going to be a link somewhere here to that video and in the description of this video. Click on the link to watch that video. So to get your Telegram ID, navigate to your Telegram and search for this bot, Floronix Trade Alert Bots, this specific one. You are going to see different names with Florinix because I am confident that a lot of people are going to rename their portfolio manager bot to Florinix. So this is the specific bot that you have to click. So click on Florinix Trade Alert bot. Once it opens, and click on Start. Once you click on Start, you will have a reply like this and click on My ID. You will get your ID. Then copy your Telegram ID. Go to your bot settings and then paste it here. So I'm going to add only one admin, which is me. I'm going to save this. To get your Telegram bot API key, you have to create a bot. So to create a Telegram bot, navigate to your Telegram. On your search bar, search bot father. Click on bot father and then click on start. You are going to see a message like this. You will need to click on new bots. Yeah, all right, a new bot. So how are we going to call it? So we are going to choose a name for this bot. So I am going to call it Tom Floronix Pom Bot and then click on enter. Now I am going to specify a username for this bot. This username has to be unique. So let me copy the same name and paste it here. Okay, great. The username is accepted. So now you can then see my API key here. This API key should be kept secret. I am just showing you this API key because after this video, I am going to revoke this API key. So keep your API key secret. So if I click here, you are going to see that it will navigate me to the bot. And if I start this, my new bot, it is not going to reply anything because it is not hosted yet. So what I will need is this API key. So I am going to copy this API key from this bot I just created right now and then navigate to my settings file. And then once I get to my settings file, I will have to paste it here. For getting your exchange API key, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. So I am now going to go ahead and set up my API keys and then start running these bots. So I am done setting up my API keys and all my parameters. So the next thing I am going to do is to click on bots. So that's exactly how I will be running my bots. So I'm going to click on bots. After a few seconds, you are going to see this screen indicating that Home Finder started, Trade Manager started, and Telegram bot also started. So if I go to my new created Telegram 
But remember the last time we click on start, it wasn't starting. But now I am going to click on start again and you can see how it started. So congratulations for creating your Telegram bot and adding it to your Pom bot. This is incredible. So in this Telegram bot, you can see what you can do with this bot and you can get your Telegram ID. The reason why we were unable to get our Telegram ID from this specific bot is that we did not run our bots at that certain point so we needed another bot to get our telegram id to input in our pom bot and then run it for this bot to work so if i click on this button i am going to see my telegram id so if you click on balance you are going to see the balance in your exchange that is the usdt balance only so if i click on balance you are going to see that I have available balance of 23.98 USDT. If you don't want your bot to execute any trade, you can just click on stop start button. And what it's going to do is that it's going to pause trading until you click on the button again and it is going to resume trading. If you want to download all your trade history starting from the dates that you run this, your bot, just click on download and you will have a doc file of your trade history if at any certain point you have a problem and you want to contact me you can click on support it is going to navigate you to discord channel you can also send me a whatsapp message on the phone number on your screen to view your portfolio just click on the portfolio button and it's going to fetch your portfolio currently now for demonstration purpose i only have one portfolio right now this is trade that was executed from this my bot in this portfolio, you can see FIDA USDT with the profit of 3%, which is 0 0.15 USDT because my trade volume was 5 USDT. So if you click on view, you are going to see that it is going to view the details of the portfolio. For example, the traded amount, the amount received, the buy price, as well as the current price, the initial balance of the currency, and also the profit that you are making currently. That's the floating profit. And the profit percentage it is also going to show you the take profit and stop loss in percentage and other information so if at any certain point you want to sell up this your portfolio you can click on this button you can also click on this button to sell it off so i am going to click on this button to sell it off so my bot knows me and is calling on my name tom do you really want to sell FIDA usdt what should I do? Should I sell? Oh no, yes, I've made profit up to 3%. So mm, I should sell. I might decide to sell or I might decide not to sell. But before I sell, I will always like to check the chart to see the direction of the market. If the direction is about to revise, then I will sell it. But for this demonstration purpose, I am going to click on yes to sell it. Yeah, bam. You are going to see that I've successfully sold my FIDA USDT from my portfolio. Now my portfolio is empty. And what I want to point out here is that whenever you are selling your portfolio, for example, the way I just sold this, do not go back to the previous message that was sent by your bot to click to sell others, but rather click on start to start the bot again. The reason is because whenever you are selling your portfolio, it is going to delete that portfolio from your trade history. Since there are going to be many cryptocurrencies in your portfolio, the portfolio ID, which is this number that you are seeing here, one, is going to be altered. So the portfolio ID for the previous message is not going to be the current portfolio ID. So it is always recommended to start your bot again and then continue. But you can see that I have no start button anymore on this, my Telegram bot. So if I want to start, I will have to type slash command and then type start and then send it back. But this is time consuming. So to add a menu in which our start button is going to be in just the way we are seeing on Botfather, we are going to navigate back to Botfather. And when you get to Botfather, just click on my bots. I have many bots here. So I am going to click on the one I just created right now, which is Tom Flonix Pom Bot. So once I click on it, you are going to see edit bot so click on edit bots once you get to edit bots click on edit commands and here you can type the commands as it is so i am going to type start 
and then specify the description as start but you can use anything as a description but the command which is the first text has to be start so i'm going to type here start but and then send it so it shows that command has been successfully set so if i click on back bot and then click on my bot and i'm going to see a menu so whenever i want to start my bot i will have to click on this and then click on start i am just doing this on my local computer sitting here on my desk but my computer is not going to be on 24 7. that is why you need a vps there's going to be a link in the description of this video on where to sign up in a VPS. In case you have difficulty signing up, you can message me on the WhatsApp on your screen. You can also message me on the Discord channel. That is it from setting up your bot. Your bot is going to be sending you notification whenever it executes trades. You can then go ahead your portfolio and see how it goes. If this type of content makes sense to you, please subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell notification. I'm going to put a link to download this bot for free in the Discord channel. So click on the link, download it in the Discord channel. And when you are done, message me on WhatsApp and then I am going to send you your license key. If this type of content makes sense to you, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Then after running this bot, come back and comment on this video how much profit that you have made. That is it for me for this video. See you in the coming video.